watch out here. What are you doing? You told me I should cuddle her. But not like this. Don't. Lexi! Think about what you're doing. Are we showing her the world? It's too upsetting in there. Lexi, we were fine before. I'm fine now. So why are you frightening everybody? What's wrong with you? Ask him. Ask him what I could possibly find upsetting about finding him cuddling and cooing over her and all the time telling me he doesn't want babies. Maybe I should go. You will not. This is your doing. We were fine until you come out here with your where's my embarrassing wife face. I speak as I fight. Oh, no, Lexi. What? This is what she wants, the big drama. She wants a baby, you selfish pig. Lexi, I understand what you're going through, I know, but it's between you and him, not... Downstairs thought she was mine earlier. She said I was a natural. <laughs> what are you gonna do when she needs feeding? She's not yours. She's ours. And she's the most important thing in our lives. Please. I have supported you. I I've listened. I'm on your side. If I give her back now. Then it's done. He won't listen, you see. He doesn't at the best of times, and he certainly won't if I give her back. He has to listen to me now. Please just trust me, Nicola. about the baby I lost every two, three minutes. To go for ten is a long time and I feel guilty. Like I let her doubt. I think it was a her, you see. Please, Carl. You have to help me. I lied. I said I'd accept not having a baby, but he's killing me. I, I can't go a lifetime without trying again. Please, can we try for another baby? We agreed. We didn't. We didn't agree. You decided and I went along with it like I always do. It's too complicated. No, it's not. She's asking you. But the doctor said it would be a miracle. Yeah, but they do happen. I want to be a mum. You're my husband. Please help me. I don't want you hurt again. No more excuses! Oh, for God's sake, this has gone on long enough. I'd have set her straight or all. Give her some hope. We're not going to have another kid. Oh. <laughs> Better out than in, eh? How could you be so cruel? Look at her! You've heard what you wanted to hear. No. Not quite yet. I've said enough. Because he made you. No, I want you to say why. For me. And for all the babies we're never going to have. Let's go. I deserve an answer. Not now. Why can't we try again? Well, this is crazy. I had the ectopic pregnancy. I'm the one that nearly died. Why won't you help me get what I need now? Because it would be a disaster. Why? Because I don't love you. Did you hear that in the cheap seats? I don't love her.
And you never did. Which you've always known. You know, she might be innocent of the fact, but you weren't. Which is why you clung on so tight I could hardly breathe. I... I I've never loved you. And you've always known that. So which of us is the biggest liar? On balance, you, I think. It's all right. It's a relief. I feel quite cleansed. Come downstairs with us. No. Me and Carla got things to discuss. adventure and you slept right through. What love? Oh, it's her being up there. It's so vulnerable. And I love her so much. I'd die if anything happened to her. Do you love me? Of course I do. Oh, why, of course. I mean, none of this was planned. We've lurched from one disaster to the next. If there's any doubt in your mind about me, I'd rather know now. Because I feel about you. And I can't believe I'm saying this, and I might even be a bit sick in a minute, but I feel like... I trust you. Deep down. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> it's the nicest thing I've ever said to anyone. <laughs> Please tell me I can rely on you. I can, can't. 